Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn and this is the Corsair H100X High Performance 240mm Liquid CPU Cooler. This is an affordable CPU cooler from Corsair that's an all-in-one system that will set you back around £75 or $75 depending on where you are in the world. This is an unboxing video and also an overview of the installation process which is ridiculously easy. Now these Hydro series coolers are really easy all-in-one coolers that are dead easy to install and keep CPU cooling hassle-free. This is a no frills version, it has no RGB lighting. The only little bit of lighting you get is on the pump head itself around the Corsair logo. As you can basically tell from the box, it doesn't have any RGB fans. It does come with two 120mm fans and they are quiet fans but otherwise it's like I said no frills. It is however a solidly built piece of kit and it comes with a five year guarantee which speaks to the quality of the build. Now I've been using Corsair's all-in-one coolers for many years and I really find them excellent, easy to install, hassle-free and also just really reliable, never had any problems with them. This one is also compatible with a numerous range of different CPUs including Intel and AMD a variety of different sockets you've got LGA 1150, 1151, 1156, 1366, 2011, 2011-3, 2066 there's loads of different ones and you get all the information on the box and how to install them, a slightly different bracket setup but it's really easy to switch between them. Basically the process is dead easy whatever you're doing. Now in the box you get the two fans the radiator and the CPU bracket, all the little screws that you need and everything you need to install it. Now the radiator itself is a dead simple setup. It comes uninstalled obviously. You need to put the fans on yourself and Corsair recommends putting the fans in the direction that they'll pull the air into the case and over the radiator to cool it down. So it's an air intake case. So you can set that up that way. You need to work out which direction it's going to sit in your case that's the other thing the other consideration are you going to top mount it or front mount it and that's obviously going to depend on your setup and also on your case itself you can see here the heat sink also has the paste on it already it has thermal paste on it so you don't need to worry about the thermal paste which is excellent if you're worried about putting too much on or not enough you don't even need to think about that because it's already done for you so it's nice and easy to sort out here's the different brackets i was talking about you'll notice this is the intel bracket it has two settings on it the manual tells you which one to put it on uh, it also has a 3m sticker on the back you can see peel that off and stick it on the back and then it stays in place while you're screwing the standoff screws in and i'll show you that in a bit now as i said you need to put the fans on yourself that's going to depend on how you're orientating the radiator in your case in my case i'm using it in a h 500i nzxt case and I'm front mounting it because it's 240 millimeter so it fits on the front with the pipes at the top and then the CPU cooler going obviously on the CPU the fans are then set in a position where the power cables go into the back of the case nice and neatly so there's no power cable management problem them going on the front where it just looks messy and it's horrible and you have to use loads of cable tidies to sort it out it is really neat and easy system as well though because there's only a couple of cables coming out of the pump head so you've got a cable that needs to go into the motherboard on the CPU pump and then the SATA power which again runs out over the back and the top of the motherboard and plugs in around the rear you can see here how I'm mounting the fans note the labels facing forward to draw the air in across the cooler you've got the long screws that you can then screw into the radiator and I positioned the cables so they're both facing in the same direction towards the rear of the case and you'll see that when you pull out the thumb screws on the fan mount on the front you can then align that so that when you put it back in they'll be in the right direction push the cables through the back of the case as you're doing it it's a dead simple process again you've got all the screws and the instructions that tell you what screws go where making it dead easy to mount and put in it's probably one of the easiest things to do especially with the thermal paste already applied next stage is to put the back plate on adjust that properly and then you put the standoff screws in. The standoff screws are slightly different depending on which CPU you use in Intel or AMD. And that shows you in the manual which ones to use. And then thumb screws, put them down. Obviously remember to take the plastic housing off the <laughs> pump when you're doing that. And then round the back, connect the SATA power, tidy up the cables a bit, 
and then you're away. You've basically done that bit. Obviously, all the rest of the process need to go through as well. And the end result is a nice looking fan setup and a nice cool CPU that runs fairly quietly and looks awesome. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.